Question nine. Well, I think this was probably the easiest question on the on the paper. So write 0.4 times 10 to the 5 as an ordinary number. Well, it's a calculator paper. Just pop it into your calculator and press um, uh, press equals. I think it's pressing equals or is it pressing the SD button? I forget. But you press one of them. No, it must be the equals button. It'll be the equals button and it will give you 140,000. Now, doing it old school, remember we've got to... Um, the decimal point is starting between the one and the one and the four. We, we're looking for a big a big number as it's a positive power. We need to do five skips. So skipping five places, one, two, three, four, five. The decimal point ends up here after four zeros, hence 140,000. Now, which of these planets has the smallest diameter? Well, you look for the smallest power which is 10 to the power of 3 and then of course you would then have to weigh up any other opening numbers which had 10 to the power of 3 but there aren't any so it must be Mars because um, that's the only one with a 10 to the power of 3 so Mars now for part C calculate the difference in kilometers between the diameter of Saturn and the diameter of Neptune so obviously take those two um, diameters pop them into your calculator and take them away from each other and we get 70,000. 70, now we're being asked to give your answer in standard form. So again, you need to make sure the first number is between 1 and 10. And it's times 10 to a power. And you can see that the, um, this, the, these, the skips we've done, the hops we've done, from 70,000 to 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 7 times 10 to the 4. But just double check. Put 7 times 10 into your 4, press equals, and check that you get the 70,000. If you don't, just keep, just keep going until you, you get the right one. Now, for part D, we're being asked to calculate the ratio of the diameter of the moon to the diameter of the sun. Well, we simply have to divide one by the other. So divide your ratio of the sun by the moon, and we get that it's 400 times bigger, so it's a ratio of 1 to 400. And again, a useful tip, when it, particularly on something like this, where you've got quite a bit to put into your numerator and the dom denominator, use that button on your calculator where you've got the little square divided by the, the other little square.